What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to clone yourself in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 and 13. So just before I get into this video, I'd like to say that this tutorial was a request tutorial. I got this asked to me on Twitter last week, and I made the tutorial for them. So with that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, or 13, be sure to leave it in the comments below, and I'll make the video for you as soon as I can. Okay, so let's get in how to do this. It's really simple to do, and it's really quick to do as well. So open up your Sony Vegas, and obviously you'll need to have two recordings. So this is my first recording right here, where I just say the first part. So when I'm standing on this side... And I just walk in and say that part right there. Then I'll pretend to look at myself and then I go ahead and stop the recording. Then you want to go back again and start the recording again. And now, wherever you want to clone yourself in, then you go ahead and start it again. So this is how I done it hid behind the couch and then just stood up like that. Then go ahead and stop it again. So, as hard as the effect actually looks to do, it is really simple to do. Now, where you do it, it is very important because you can tell from my one you could tell the way the light was changing the reason for this is because where the camera is I've actually got a big window so that means the lighting will change so that is a reason why you could see the lightning change on the left hand side now another tip for you you will need to put it on a tripod or something that's going to keep it absolutely stable because obviously if you move it a little bit then the effect will get messed up and you'll be able to see the change so let's get on to it some of you may have sound in your video, some of you may not. So if you have sound, then right click here, click video track, and right click the soundtrack, and insert audio track. If you don't have sound, then just go ahead and insert a video track. So then go ahead and get the second video, which you want to clone in, and go ahead and drag it right above it, like so. So now go to where you want this video to actually begin. So you'll see here, I want my video to begin right here as I'm about to walk in. So now we'll see this video right here. I'm going to walk in, just say the little intro, and stop. So now we need to go ahead and sync this video up as well. So we we'll go ahead and drag this in as well. Go ahead and just choose where you want this part to happen as well. So just as I'm coming up, which is there, so I'm going to put it like that. Now, I finished talking right here, so, and then you can see it's automatically changed, so that is what we don't want. Now, the next thing you want to do is come to your event pan and crop on the top video. So, this is the one where you're going to come and clone in. So, click the event pan and crop. Now, what you want to do, oh, okay, we'll use it from here. What you want to do is come down here where it says mask and click that, and then check this. Now uncheck this, now come here on your video, so you can see where your character or where you will actually be standing. So now you can get a better insight where you actually got a mask out. So for me I can just go right down here, and then around the character, well around me. So come to the anchor creation tool, and then just go ahead and line out where you'll be standing. So this is where my clone is, you can see right there. So now we're able to see the bottom video and the video where the clone is. So you can see there's like a line in the middle which is really bad and it makes it look really unprofessional. Come down to path and click feather type and change it to both. Now you want to change your feather to a percentage that will suit you. Usually around 20 will be good. And you can see he's got rid of the black lines there. However for my video I can use 10 but it's completely up to you and it depends how bad or how good the video line is. Now if we go ahead and play this, the cloning is actually already done, so go ahead and play it. And you can see again the lightning did change, and that is because again, I did do it in two shots, which you will need to do as well, and the big window behind me messed up the lighting. So just be careful and wary where you're actually going to be recording this. So that is how you do it, and then once you have done it, just go ahead and line everything back up to normal, and where you want to stop it and stuff like that and go ahead and just go ahead file render as and just render it as normal however you would render it 
So yeah, that is it for this video. Like I said earlier, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13, be sure to leave it in the comments below and I'll make the video for you as soon as I can. So yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page as I post gaming news and technology news daily. Also be sure to check out my gaming channel where I post daily, check out my FIFA channel where I post daily, and finally be sure to add me on Snapchat where I just see what I do throughout my day. So yes, be casual, savage here, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace. Grab a mic, kill the stage, yeah, second nature now Mama said I make a prayer, I told her I made a prayer